uh, middle school teacher is under investigation after admitting to using a racial slur and calling a fellow teacher a monkey. A black eighth grader at Oak Brook Middle School told his mother his teacher referred to a black professor as the monkey next door. This happens to be the same teacher who asked her class to participate in a cotton picking activity where she brought in raw cotton for the class. The child's parents alerted the Dorchester District School Administration to address the situation, but it's unclear if they got back to her. Now, according to the local affiliate uh, WCIV TV, there's a recording where the teacher is heard admitting she made the monkey statement, but says she didn't mean it that way. She defended her statement by saying the teacher she was referring to is her friend who she calls that. The Dorchester School District has issued the following statement. Uh, Dorchester School District uh, 2 takes every allegation seriously. We are currently investigating an alleged incident at Oak Brook Middle School. At Oak Brook Middle School. We do not comment on personnel matters. All staff should recognize that they are being continuously observed by students and that their actions and demeanor will be reflected in the conduct of the students. I, Brianna, I don't know that many black folk who <laughs> willingly let somebody white call them a monkey. I don't believe it. Yeah, I know that she's a liar. And in South Carolina, a white woman knows better. Uh, there's, there's no excuse. Um, and it's unfortunate that the middle school is on the response, honestly. Um, we've seen it over and over again, and especially bringing in cotton. I mean, how much more clear than that? A liar. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's 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 kind of crazy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna buy that, Mustafa. No, neither am I. In the positioning of the school district, they said it's an alleged incident. How's it an alleged incident if you have? Uh, the person who did it, I'm saying they did it. So uh, I, I'm not sure who they have representing them, uh, but they really need to get their act together. The other part of it is supposedly from all the things that I read, this is not the you know first or the second time that this individual you know has went down this road. So they, you know, you got to make sure if you are a school district, if you are a principal, that you are addressing this with real intentionality. Um, so that it does not spread. And others think, well, if I say somebody's my friend, I can say whatever I want about them. That, that's, not, that's not what you're supposed to be doing in this situation. And you, at a minimum, should have already been relieved of your duty until the investigation is over. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how, how that one's going to work out, uh, DeMario. I, I, first of all, I ain't let nobody black uh, call me no monkey. Oh, no, no, that's... that's no, we friends. That's cute. No, I like, I, I've never met Brianna before, but I like she's just a director. She's a liar, and I agree. Brianna, she's a liar. No black person. I mean, Tim Scott is from South Carolina, so he may allow them to make right. statements like that to him. We got to keep that in mind, right? We got to keep that in mind. But most black people, normal black people, would not allow that. But for our audience, if this happens to you, if you are called a racial slur, and particularly in the educational setting, this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to make a complaint with the Department of Education, a Title VI complaint. Second of all, you need to make a police report because this is, uh, this is uh, to me, when a black, white person uses a racial slur towards a black person, that is violence. It's not just words. And then third of all, you should consult with an attorney in your location. At, at, at least it's an intentional affliction of emotional distress. Uh, it's probably a civil rights violation. So in addition to whatever the school is going to do as far as disciplining this individual, which sounds like has a history of racist, discriminatory conduct, as individual black people, we should take our matters into our own hands, follow the proper steps, and do what you can to hold this individual accountable. Um, yeah, I think so. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video in just one moment. When we invest in ourselves, our glow, our vision, our vibe. We all shine. Together, we are Black Beyond Measure. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. <laughs> Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Rolling. Hey, I love y'all. All Black Star Network. 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 
momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?